So following on from the previous video, where I said that that was otherwise referred to as the midpoint formula, quite often what's referred to as the improved Euler step-by-step -step method uh, is a formula that is slightly more complicated than that. Now, the one that's given into the formula booklet, as I said, right, may well be used, or alternatively, they might give you another one to use, and that could be this one that I'll derive on the board now. Okay, so you won't need to know the derivation, but it's nice to see where it's come from so that you would be able to use it. Okay, this one is a little bit more complicated in its build. Um, so let's consider a similar looking curve to what we've used before. Okay, so the idea here is that if this is my step length of uh, h and this is xr and that will be its y ordinate will be yr and this is xr plus 1 and this is yr plus 1 the idea here is that I could estimate the gradient between my two points by using the average of the gradients at those two points. So the average of that one with that one. Okay, so if I worked out that gradient and that gradient, added them together and divided by two, I would get an estimate for this gradient between my two points. Okay, so that's the idea. So I would be saying that yr plus 1, take away yr, the difference in the y-coordinates, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, which is h, would be equal to the average of the gradients of those two points. Now, for that point there, that would be f of xr, yr. And for that point there, it would be xr plus 1, y are plus 1, okay, because that's the gradient function. We're adding them together and dividing by 2. Okay, so I would be able to rearrange this to get y r plus 1 is equal to y r plus h over 2 of f of x r y r plus f of x r plus 1 y r plus 1. And this would be my formula. But the problem is that I'm not actually able to calculate yr plus 1 using this because yr plus 1 is actually in the right-hand side. I need to use it to get it, okay, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay, so how can I work out this bit here? Well, I could use Euler's step-by-step -step method to do that. OK, so I could go to Euler's step-by-step -step method and plug that in for that part there. So that would be equal to, um, so we'd have yr plus 1 is equal to yr plus h over 2, lots of f of the xr yr plus, now this bit here, um, this yr plus 1. Now, the xr plus 1 I know is just going to be xr plus h, okay, from the previous formulas we've utilised. The yr plus 1 is yr plus h times f of xr yr. So that closes that bracket, and then I've got the other bracket as well. Okay, so currently this is looking not very nice. Okay, um, now what I can do is I can rewrite this. Now I'm going to bring that h back in now, so I'm going to have it as one half times h f x r y r plus h, f, x, r, plus h, 
yr plus hf of xr yr. Okay. Right. Now, because the formula is very messy, we abbreviate it by writing yr plus 1 is equal to yr plus 1 half of k1 plus k2. Now, the k1, so where, k1 is equal to the h f of x r y r, so that bit there, and k2 is equal to all of this, so h f of x r plus h, y r plus, now the h f of x1 y1, uh, sorry x r y r is this, so I could write that as k1 in there. And so this is referred to as Euler's improved step-by-step -step method. Now, um, this is what I have always known as Euler's improved step-by-step -step method. And the previous method in the previous video, um, I've referred to as the midpoint formula. Okay, In the formula booklet for AQA, they referred to the previous one as Euler's improved method. Okay, so they might use that one, the midpoint formula, or they would use this one. This one is not in the formula booklet. They would have to tell you it in the question. Okay, they would say use this method to find um, a particular value for y.